Uh, okay, let's just look at the rapid transit. On the map screen, you'll see a button return to hideout. In most online, you can use this instantly. Transfer back, transfer to you low so that where you. Oh, okay, that's interesting. He has bounty, Karth. Search for Stila. I have a feeling Karth is a romantic interest, knowing these Bioware games. Alright. So, it's a dude. It's a droid. Does anybody know where the cantina is? I am looking for the cantina. Okay, so that's Kabilia shop. So the cantina must be on the other side. Equipment Emporium. Oh, that's a sign. I'm a dumbass. Alright, so... Is that the... Is this the cantina? Yes, cantina. Like, what music do you have? Okay, it's jazzy. Nicholas. Garthok. Sir, there's a lot of people in here. There's a citizen. There's a noble. Citizen. I am looking for Hoden. Another citizen. Another citizen. Okay, lots of citizens. Alright, let's start with talking with the, um, the named individuals. Uh, let's start with her. Don't you just love watching the Fazak players? All that strategy. All those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Okay, so they're gambling. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> uh... I have some questions. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. Um, who are you? My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play if you had. Oh, I'll, I'll try it later. I, I'd like to play, but I don't have a deck. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. So if you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Maybe I will do that. So it's a deck building game, it sounds like. Is it like magic? Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Who are you? My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Ah, uh, the gambling life wasn't for you? Why'd you give it up? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits get you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. Great offer if you can afford it. I'll buy it. I got the money. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, uh... I Questions. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Quarantine. Quarantine. Uh, uh, just give me uh, some general info on Terrace. Mm, don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough. Though it was better before the Sith showed up. But... They don't bother an old guy like me much. Don't know much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe. 
Mind my own business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah. Of course, of course. Um, anything you know about escape pods in the Undercity? I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I'll be right back. No, I'm gonna read course, these rules. Of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Alright, uh... So let's take a look at these rules. Basics. The objective of the game is to have your face-up card's total higher than your opponent's without exceeding a total of 20. If a player's total is greater than 20 at the end... Okay, so it's like blackjack. Um... Is played with 40 cards made up of four of each number, one to ten. A side up deck has ten guard drain from minus six to minus ten. Rules of the game. Each player draws four random cards from their deck to form their hand. These cards are available to the player for all the sets of the match. Each hand card can only be played once per match. The first player draws a card from the main deck and plays it faced up. After drawing a card, a player has the option from trying cards their hands. Only one hand card can be completed each turn. Players four can card hands must last throughout the set. The player that has the option to stand or end. A player who cannot try to stand. Okay, I'm gonna get that lesson. Back again? Before each Pazak match, you must select 10 cards to form your side deck. Four of these cards will be randomly drawn during your match. Each Pazak deck has two of each card numbered plus one to plus five. If to create a side deck, you will find the other side deck. You, as you play next to your room, okay. Select 10 cards. Alright, um... Let's do two of each. Alright, so that's the only ones I have. Uh, yes. Alright, the object of the game is to have your face up cards total higher than your opponents without the exceeding 20. If the player's total is in, it's a bust. The player must win three sets to win a match. Alright, the first player draws a card from the main deck and plays it face up to begin their turn. This is done automatically. This is your hand for the match. It is made up of four cards randomly from the side deck you selected earlier. These cards have to last throughout the, all the sets of the match, so three sets of the match. After drawing a card, a player has the option of playing one of the cards from their hand. Um, you can only play one card from your hand each turn by dragging it onto the board or by double clicking on it and playing a card from your hand. Playing a card from your hand is optional. If your total is over here, you, you have negative cards in hand, you can bring it up back down to your honey. Alright. During your travels, you might find cards that can be played as either a negative or positive value. These cards are very rare, but they give Pazak Strong a strong tactical advantage. A hand card must be declared as positive or negative before it is played. While it is in your hand, you can flip it back and forth, but you can't once it's played and cannot change. Player's turn is over when they select end turn or stand. You can choose to end turn and you will draw another card for your next turn. If you choose to stand, you will not draw any more cards. You cannot play any more cards until the next set of the match. You may now choose to play a card from your hand to end the turn or stand. Oh. Play hand card. Alright, stand. If you stand, you cannot draw any more cards, and you cannot play any more cards from your hand until the next set. Uh, end turn. Your opponent uses the same rules you do. Each turn they draw, they have the option. Okay. I'm at 15. God 
God damn it. A match. Okay. Player chose it, they automatically see and the opponent can choose to play. Oh my god! Back again? I wanna try again! I, I don't have any other available cards. Alright, I, I like this. Uh, okay, I think I'm getting this. Maybe. Um, all right. End turn. Um, all right. I will stand. Tied. Match continues until one person has won three sets. Ties don't count. So you have to use the four cards more carefully. All right. Um, and turn. And turn. I'm gonna use this. Yep. Alright, so I won that set. doesn't get over five, right? No. <sighs> and turn. Fuck! Alright. Come on, give me a four. Fuck it. Go up to one. To okay. Turn. And turn. And turn. God damn it. All right. I'm not good at this, but I think I understand. All right. We'll talk to the other people. Like. You. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. You don't look like a Sith. You're too pretty to be a Sith. That's what a smooth person would say, but I guess I'm not that smooth. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. It gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. Sounds like you aren't happy. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. Can I ask you some stuff? The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. 
No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. All right, fine. But if I come up a way for you to, like, make fucking credits... What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. You wouldn't be proper for the man of my stamp. Okay, asswipe. Citizen, citizen, citizen. Citizen, citizen, citizen. I think you guys are citizens. Dual spectator, dual spectator. Do, do they have duels here? Citizen. Hi. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? I'm not your waiter. Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. I'm sorry, don't get upset. I'll go get that fucking drink, you bitch. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Noble youth. Do I know you? No? Then why are you speaking to me? The patron. This cantina isn't the fanciest joint I've ever been in, but it's a good place to unwind after a hard shift at the military base. Listen. Waiter. What's up, waiter? Hey, waiter! Waiter! I want you. waiter drink! Waiter! I'm sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders. Don't bother me. I don't speak to the help. Don't bother me. I don't speak to the help. Go fuck yourself. Can I shoot you? I'd like to shoot you. Alright. Um. So where is that duel spect- oh. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. Okay. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! So, what they are they dueling with? Ah. And he's dead. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. I can do that. I can definitely do something like that. Anybody? Oh. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? What are you talking about, duel ring? I'm new! What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Who are you? I'm Deadeye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? Um, uh, five out of how many? Five? Uh, five. But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can. But not many do. Uh-huh. Dueling chamber? You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. 
right. Yeah, that's right. Back off. You know better than the challenge, Dead-Eyed Duncan. I will how mess much... you up. Yeah, how much money do I get for this? Hello there, Offworld. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. Do I know you? No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? Um, tell me more about these duels. The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols enter the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. Can I ask more questions? My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Um, I want to know about the duelist here. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this cantina. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gurlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak's star killer comes in once in a while. He's retired now. Hmm. So it's very clear that Duncan sucks balls, so he is number five. Um, tell me about yourself. Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. Okay, so Mar Twitch is a bar of Mara. What about uh, Ice? Ice? Well, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Alright, tell me about... Duncan. Duncan? Worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Uh... So you're, well, Twitch. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy. But he's very, very good despite his insanity. Or maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. Uh, Bendak? What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. Uh, okay, Gurlon. Gurlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gurlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. All right, so I assume the order is Bendak, Twitch, this dude, Ice, Gurlon, and Duncan, because he says he can beat everybody but Twitch. Um... My area... Anything about escape pods? Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Terrace? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. Uh, any, anything about the, uh, uh, the info in Terrace? Anything more you can tell about me, old man? I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guide. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the duel rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the lower city. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? Um, I'm good. Thanks. Goodbye, Thanks, man. stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. So, uh... So... So you're ice, huh? Wait. I know what you're going to say. It's great to see a woman in the duel ring strike a blow for equality. I'm a credit to my gender, blah, blah, blah. Just save it, okay? I'm just here to take care of business in the dueling ring. For some reason, every woman who comes in here thinks we should have some kind of female bond. Guess what? We don't. I just want to ask you some questions. You know what? I'm not one for friendly chit-chat, so I'm just going to deliver the cold, hard facts. I don't want to waste any more time with you. 
Wow, that was cold. Now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to the hut. Sup? So I'm sorry, human. Bang windows closed. No more fights now. People are sick of seeing the same duels all the time. It's bad for business unless. My name is Azure. I organize all the duels here. We need a new face in the dueling game, human. Maybe you want to step into the duel ring? It can be highly profitable. I'd be interested. What's in it for me? I can arrange you to fight in the duel ring. If you win, you get the standard contract, 10% of all wagers. And don't worry, nobody dies in the duel ring anymore. Death matches are illegal now. Most fighters of the duel ring use viral brigs or stun sticks because the ring's pretty small. A few of the duelists use blasters, whichever you use to prefer. Viral blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? The duo ring has energy suppressor fields to make sure nobody dies. Weapons are limited so they hurt, but they don't kill. We've got a medic droid in case of serious injuries. Are you interested? I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. Alright, fine. <laughs> You need new blood for the ring, but you need a nickname like Ice, Deadeye, or Twitch. Good nicknames make people bet more. Hmm, what's a good nickname for you? You're an off-worlder. You're new here. People won't recognize you. I know. From now on in the duel ring, you'll be the mysterious stranger. Wow, that's... That's a terrible name. What do you know about nicknames? I've been getting nicknames for 29 years now. Mysterious Stranger, that's your name. Fine. Mysterious Stranger is a perfect name for you. You got no past, no history. It makes you seem like you've got some big dark secret. People like that. It makes them bet more. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back in the Endar Spire. Fine. You ready to do it now? You want to step in the ring right away? I'll set you up with Deadeye to start. I'll tell you the rules if you're ready. Yeah, sure. Yes, you fight and people bet and I make money. It's all good. One rule. Nobody dies. Your opponent goes down, you don't finish them off. Death matches are illegal. Okay. You're new at this, so I'll start you off easy. Deadeye, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can, I can hit a guy. And gentlemen. Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Okay. Alright. Sniper shot. Go. Can I run? Alright, go. Attack. And he's stunned. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Woo, credits! But really, are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing isn't huge. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Woo, money, 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 money. So I should take on Girl on next. So, did I get money? <laughs> Good fight, good fight. People like you, Mysterious Stranger. They bet a lot when you fight. It makes me happy and rich. I always pay my debts. You won, so you get paid. 10% of the purse. That was the deal. Here are your credits. Come see me when you're ready to fight again. 